Hi, what's up? My name is Holly. Today we are playing with some new makeup. I've got um, some new stuff to try. I have the On the Rise Volume Lift Mascara by NYX. I'm excited to try that. And I've also got this beautiful palette here by Revolution. This is the Forever Flawless Unconditional Love Palette. And I've got a lot of other stuff to try as well. So let's dig right in to this makeup. I have underneath ooh, my foundation, I have this Pore Blur Primer. This is from Makeup Revolution. Um, Makeup Revolution and I don't have a great history together. I've tried a lot of their highlighter palettes and their eyeshadow palettes, and I just didn't like them. So people keep telling me to give them a try, and I'm going to give them a try. So um, I ordered that Pore Blur, and I ordered the palette, and then they sent me this little kind of crappy bag don't know what it's doing there and then I also got the ultra bronze and the ultra strobe balm and then two of their little makeup bullet lipsticks this is lust and chauffeur so I did swatch a couple of these eyeshadows um, in this palette and it looked really pretty um, so there's the inside, there's it is, I really like that it's in this like metal compact, I feel like I won't break it when I throw it in my makeup bag, <laughs> it's got a really nice big mirror, and I just love these, my favorite color is purple to wear my eyes, and I love them, um, it's just so pretty. Alright, so I'm going to start with my eyeshadow and dig into this palette. I'm just going to use some of my Morphe brushes. I like that they have a lot of transition colors in here because they have bright colors, yet they also have transition shades. Um, like they've got some browns and neutrals in here, and I like that. I hate it when you just get a palette of bright colors and there's like nothing to transition them with and nothing to put down as a base if you're not trying to do something freaking crazy. Okay, I'm going to start with Swipe. That's that corally pink top right. Ooh, they're very dusty. Alright, here we go. Super powerful. Okay, I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to go into Dinner. That's this burgundy shade at the bottom. I really love these peaches here. I think I'm going to put that on top. That's just such a pretty color. Yes. That's so pretty. That is like Barbie freaking pink. I don't know. That's Barbie pink. This is like a baby Barbie pink. Even this door down here, it's like the perfect purple, mauve, taupe color. Oh, that's pretty. Mm. Sorry, I got distracted. Here we go. Okay. Alright, I'm going to go back to my other brush and blend that in. I'm going to go back over right here because it just seems to be getting a little patchy. Okay, I'm going to take this color at the bottom here, Love. It's like a bright pink coral. And I'm going to take this, sh this is the shimmery one. And I'm just going to put this on my lid. Oh, that's so pretty. That color is so satisfying. I like this shimmery shade. It's not like, you know how you have some shimmery shades that like you try to put on and they go like crumbly or they like kind of ball up. It's not doing that at all. It's like thin enough to not do that. 
but it's creamy. Okay, taking that little brush again, I'm gonna go back into dinner and I'm gonna go under my eyes with it. Okay, now this is something that I always have to swatch when I walk by it in Ulta, and I finally just got it. I just can't, um, you know, really rationalize spending that much money on just a glitter topper, but I had to do it. This is the Too Faced Tutti Frutti Twinkle Twinkle Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow. This is in the shade Honey Please, and it's just so freaking pretty. It's just so, like, perfect. I could literally stare at this all day. It's so opaque. I'm about to put this straight on my eye. I don't know if it's even going to match. Okay, now moving on, we're going to be moving on to bronzer. This is the Revolution Ultra Bronze. It's super dusty and powdery. Check that out. Oh. It's definitely very pigmented. A little bit goes a long freaking way. It's not bad. I feel like it matches my skin tone. Like, I really like the color of the skin tone. Matches my... Words! <laughs> I really like the color. It matches my skin tone. I don't feel like it's too orange or too dark. It blends in pretty well. It's just very pigmented, so I'm having to go in super lightly. Ooh. But that's not a bad thing. Look at this breakout I'm having right here. What the heck? Why is it right here? What a weird place to break out. Okay, now I have two highlighters I can try. I either have this e.l.f. metallic flare highlighter. And then I also have the one that I got from Revolution in my little thing. This is the Revolution Ultra Strobe. I think I'm going to use the e.l.f. one, but I'll still swatch the Revolution one so we can see it. So this is the Ultra Strobe Balm. Oh, this is like... Sh I'm <laughs> glad I chose the other one. This is like liquid. It's not liquid, it's like a cream. It's a balm. Ew, I don't think I like this girl. Okay, so here I'll do it right here for you. It's, um. Oh, I don't like that. Ooh, it's really not shimmery at all. Interesting. It's very pink, it's like a metallic pink. That'd be pretty sort of something crazy like a festival, but not today. <laughs> okay, so this is the e.l.f. Metallic Flare Highlighter in white gold. Doesn't that just look gorgeous? When I saw that, I was like, mm, I need that. I just feel like this is going to be gorgeous. Mm, not much is coming off on my finger. <laughs> Great. It came off on my finger, but now it won't come off on my finger. It's like stuck on there. I'm gonna use my Real Techniques brush and say a little prayer and here we go. Let me just see if I set my face first. Hold on. I'm gonna use my Bear With Me spray. <laughs> Let's try it now. I just don't think anything's coming on. Oh, oh it's kind of there. 
I don't think much is coming off on the brush. It just seems like too dry, like it's a little too dense and it won't. I think they made a solid instead of a compressed powder. Okay, there we go. So I like dug into it with my freaking end of my brush and it's coming off a little bit now. Woo! Okay. It's really pretty when you can get it on your skin. It's definitely not like a soft highlighter. Like it's not going to be easy to get on your skin and brush, but like if you're willing to work with it, it's really pretty. I like how blinding I can get it. And it builds really well. Hmm. Not bad for, like, a cheap highlighter, you know? Mmm, I don't know. I guess I'd still go with Wet n Wild. Theirs is just softer, but there's always break on me, so I don't know. Mmm. Okay, so this is the NYX. This doesn't match what I have on at all, but I just at least want to swatch it. This is the NYX Strictly Vinyl Eyeliner in the shade Extra. Okay, so it looks just like their little other eyeliners. Um, this is super cute. <laughs> this is not going well. I want you to look at this freaking brush. What happened? There's not even any product on there. Oh, there's like some dry product coming off. What the crap? I just ordered this from Ulta. Dude, I'm totally taking this back. This sucks. Is there anything in here? I don't think so. Interesting. Moving on. Didn't want to use that anyway. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to try the NYX On The Rise Volume Lift Scara. This is not mascara, it's Lipscara. It claims 95% salt volume, instant volume, and 94% salt instant lift. I'm sure that those claims are 100% accurate. Okay, so there we go. Well, that's like a weird looking bottle, dude. What's going on here? I don't know, that just doesn't appeal to me. Like, I like the pink, I guess. I like how it's like shimmery, but like the whole thing could have been that. Here it goes, nothing. Okay, oh, I like that wand. That's nice. It's definitely the hard bristles, but I don't mind that. Okay, so it like changes as you spin it. I see. It's like, maybe I'm going crazy. Nope, I'm not. Okay. It's thicker there and then thinner there. I was like, I'm so confused. I swear I just saw a little dip in that brush. Yep. Here goes nothing. Let me go look closer for you. Hold on. The problem I have with like NYX mascara sometimes is you can't get enough product on them. So let's see what happens here. Literally, what did I just freaking say? This looks like a bottle of mascara that I've been using for like a month. Like, where's the product? I don't know. I wouldn't really call this a volume mascara. <laughs> it's really just more lengthening. Not bad. Not like incredible, special. I don't know. I feel like I had to do a lot of coats to get there. Whoa. Interesting. Oh, dang. PSA, do not do your bottom lashes with this stuff. You're going to get it everywhere. I normally don't do my lower lashes with this fluffy brush, but I was going to just try it out. Mistake made.
My camera just literally turned off. How rude is that? I didn't do anything. Okay, so I think that I'm going to open up... I don't know. I feel like this would match what I'm wearing, but what if it clashes? Hmm. Let's open up this one. This is in the shade Chauffeur. It doesn't say what it is. It just says lipstick. I really like the rose gold, but I don't like the shape of that. I don't know why. It just, like, doesn't appeal to me. Oh, my gosh. There's another freaking sticker on it. I can't get it. It seems a little sheer. I was just expecting this shade to be darker. It does smell kind of nice, though. I did really like this eyeshadow palette. I will definitely be using it again. Um, also, I just love this case. Like, how pretty is that? I just want that in my phone case. Um, I feel like they kind of redeemed themselves with that. The rest of the stuff that I tried from them is alright. I did like the bronzer. It just is a little dusty. The pore primer is alright. It's not the best thing I've ever tried, but it's like not the worst thing I've ever tried. And the lipstick's alright. I don't know. I'm just on the fence with that brand. Some of their products work great. I love their concealer. Um, but I don't know. Nothing else has really wowed me. Do I think that you need to go buy any of this makeup right now? Is it going to change your life? No. Not really. So, I tried it, so you don't have to. Um, I don't know. This mascara is kind of chill. Try it. You might like it. Thank you so much for watching this video today. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, and I will see you next week. Bye! I don't know how people do their makeup without getting makeup all over them. Like, when I'm done, I am covered. My clothes are covered.